So here's how you draw the Lewis structure for SO2. This is sulfur dioxide. The first thing when we draw Lewis structures, count the valence electrons. Sulfur is in group 16, sometimes called 6A on the periodic table. It has six oxygen, same group. It has six valence electrons, two oxygens. So six plus 12, 18 total valence electrons for this SO2 Lewis structure. So when we draw Lewis structures, we put the least electronegative in the center. That's the sulfur. We'll put oxygen atoms on either side. So remember, we have 18 valence electrons for our Lewis structure here. So let's form bonds between atoms. We'll put a pair of electrons here and here. So now we've used four. We have 18 totals. So we have 14 more left. Let's complete the octets on the outer atoms. So now each oxygen has eight and that's an octet. Sulfur only has four, but remember we've used 16, so we only have two more. Just put them here. And now we've used all 18. Oxygens, they have octets. Sulfur, almost. So we could just form a double bond. We could take this pair of electrons, move it here. And now this oxygen has eight. Sulfur has eight. Oxygen has eight. And this is a valid Lewis structure. And you might think you're done, but we do need to look at the formal charges. So if you need help calculating the formal charges, there's a link at the end of this video. Oxygen with a double bond that has a formal charge of zero, single bond, negative one, and then the sulfur that's gonna have a formal charge of plus one. So we'd prefer that these were zero, that they're all zero. That's a better Lewis structure, a more favorable Lewis structure. So why don't we form another double bond like this? And now we have eight for the oxygen, eight for this oxygen, and we have 10 here for the sulfur, but sulfur can have an expanded octet. It's in period three on the periodic table. Period three and below, they can have expanded octets. So when we do that, our formal charges become, we have our double bond oxygen, that's zero. And then sulfur here, if you calculate that out, it's zero as well. So we end up with formal charges all of zero. So this is actually the best or most favorable or likely Lewis structure for SO2, sulfur dioxide. Students get confused because we have more than eight on the sulfur, but that's okay. Another question is which is more important, the octet rule or the formal charge? So the octet rule is a very general rule. So we would rather have the formal charges work out than strictly following the octet rule. So that's why we have 10 on the sulfur and expanded octet. So this is the most favorable or likely Lewis structure for SO2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.